the terrorist acts sparking the Israel Hamas war got, <clears throat> caught many in the region and around the world by surprise. That includes a Southwest Houston couple and their <clears throat> children who were visiting family when the war broke out. KPRC 2's Bill Baraja spoke to them about their situation and when they think they might make it back home. Bill is live in Meyerland tonight with their story. Bill. The Keha family says they spent the last few days hunkered down, running in and out of a bomb shelter at their family's home every time they hear sirens. The young couple has two small children and their priority is to get them out safely and back home here to Houston. The sights and sounds of war have begun to wear on Sarah Keha and her family. It's just, it's too much and it's too much. Like, I can't even handle what's going on right now, let alone the fact that we're here like with my children, because it's not just war. This is like madness, like street evilness. Keha is from the Bel Air area. She's in Israel visiting family in a small town about 20 minutes from Tel Aviv. But what was supposed to be a celebration has now become a nightmare. Her children, 19 months old. Just constant, constant fear of just run and like get the kids, get the kids. And like our kids are in uh, just because there's two and it's a lot. And it's just like we're constantly ready to run to get them and anything. Gosh. And just hearing these jets and these helicopters, they're so loud and they're right overhead of us and just constantly all through the day and night. And you hear the bombs, even if our alarms aren't going off. The terror and fear forcing Keha and her family to weigh their options and figure out whether it's safe enough to try and get back home. We have a flight on the 15th, and I'm so scared because it's at 1 a.m. But I'm scared because that's the middle of the night first. And I'm scared to go to the airport because for some reason I just feel like that's a huge target. Like and Keha says she will make her decision on whether to leave or not to the airport in the next few days. She says she will keep us updated on her status. We're live in Southwest Houston. Bill Barajas, KPRC 2 News.